Here's what causes heart attacks. In the cells, they take oxygen and food from the blood. They metabolize it. The heart is a muscle, just like your leg is a muscle. And they uh, put out waste products, carbon dioxide and water. If they don't have enough oxygen to keep up with their supply, they will produce lactic acid in a sort of anaerobic respiration. This lactic acid creates an, a so-called acidosis or a lowering of the pH of the, of the local environment, meaning the actual tissue cells. And if it gets more and more acidic, this actually destroys the tissue. And the only difference with your heart and your leg is it, if, your heart, if you exceed your oxygen supply in your leg, you'll go to anaerobic respiration, build up lactic acid, you'll get a cramp, i.e. angina of your leg, and as a result, you'll stop running. If you do the same process, you exceed your oxygen supply and go into anaerobic respiration, build up lactic acid, get acidosis in your heart, and you decide to have your heart take a bit of a rest, you're dead. Your heart can't do that, so it keeps on doing this anaerobic respiration. It keeps building up these acids, and that will actually necrose or kill the tissue. So now the, qu the next question is, how do you get into this imbalance where you don't have enough um, oxygen and food to nourish the tissues, but specifically, more importantly, how do you help get rid of the lactic acid that's built up when in times of heavy exertion? It turns out that this is a phenomenon that, that has to do with two things. One is capillaries. Now, if you picture the blood vessels, picture a river, you have big river, smaller river, smaller river, and then just a trickle. That trickle part is called capillaries, just, you know, microscopically thin. And if the capillaries are constricted, they can't bring the food and oxygen in well enough. But more importantly, they can't flush out the lactic acid well enough. So anything that interferes with your capillary function, the small blood vessels, will interfere with your ability to flush the acids out. Now, there's actually three things that we know of, three illnesses or three situations, that directly interfere with capillaries. One is smoking. Interestingly, we know that smoking is a risk factor for heart attacks, but also interesting, Smoking has basically no effect on large blood vessels. Smoking uh, corrodes the capillaries all over your body, but it doesn't affect the large blood vessels. It doesn't make any sense from the thrombogenic theory of heart disease. So smoking corrodes your blood vessels. Number two, diabetes, which is from eating an overly carbohydrate-rich diet for many years and not having enough exercise and we don't have time to talk about that. But diabetes is a strong risk factor for heart disease, and yet has nothing to do with large blood vessels like coronary arteries, and has everything to do with corroding your small blood vessels, like the capillaries. So again, the theory that it, this is from thrombosis doesn't square with smoking, and it doesn't square with the diabetes predisposes people to heart disease because diabetes affects small blood vessels. And the third one, as every ER doctor like myself uh, knows, is that adrenaline, i.e. stress, constricts your uh, small blood vessels like capillaries. That's why dentists, for instance, inject Novocaine to numb your teeth with adrenaline so that the gums don't bleed all over your teeth when they're drilling your teeth because the adrenaline shrinks up the capillaries and makes them constrict. So whenever you're in a situation, be it acutely, because you're uh, acutely stressed, or chronically, because you lead a high-stress lifestyle, which means you'll make more adrenaline, 
and that will keep your capillaries in constricted in a, in a overly robust way, which prevents the flushing out of the lactic acid. And so these three things, which have no explanation from the coronary artery perspective, now begin to make sense. Uh, the wrong diet causing diabetes, the, corn, the smoking, which corrodes your small blood vessels, capillaries, and high stress. So 